So we are in Hunwick, it's very windy, so I hope that doesn't uh, get in the way of um, being able to hear what I have to say this afternoon. But uh, yes, we're in the village of Hunwick, and um, it's a nice little village, one of my favourite places in the area. So we're going to have a look around and see what Hunwick's got to offer. First thing to mention is the tea house which is at the bottom of the village and uh, this is quite a nice cafe, I had breakfast there once and it's, uh, it's very good so uh, I recommend that place and uh, the one thing you get in Hunwick walking up the village is these fantastic open views which is uh, because it's a semi-rural village I guess you get to see uh, all the other little villages in the distance A little shop, M Littles, I think it says that. News agent, off license, getting bread and milk and things like that. Homewick Working Men's Club, uh, proudly sporting a couple of flags for the D Day and for England and England football team. So the Euros coming up very shortly. It's about Homewick, the amenities, there's the church, it's got a chapel called the New Connection, it's got a railway. Colliery, like most places around here did. Um, the brick works up there. They were the site of the colliery um, in the 1800s. And we're here at the cemetery. And I do like this house here. That's very pleasant. So Humwick's got about a population of about 1,200 people and it's situated between Willington, about two miles away, and Bishop Auckland, which is about four miles, I think. And here we are at the church, the Church of St. Paul the Apostle. Some nice terrace houses here. I wonder how much they are. The local pub, the Joiner's Arms, which I think has just changed hands again recently. And they're telling us that it's cash only and not too smoky vapes in there. And this is interesting, this is in a, uh, a bus shelter on the main road. And this is like a community book library thing. I've seen that in a few places before. Well, that's, that's quite nice. I actually forgot to mention that the Joiner's Arms, they do a really good lunch menu, which is very, very reasonably priced. And they keep a good beer on as well, a good cast conditioned ale. So it's worth checking out. And this is at the back of the village and it's uh, completely open. It's a public footway that takes you off into the countryside, basically. So I reckon there's plenty of walks around Humwick and the surrounding area. Hunwick uh, Caravan Club. Oh, that's just a crap joke, sorry. I forgot to mention that you can walk on the Brandon to Bishop Auckland railway path which takes you via Homewick you have to come up a country lane to get to the village but uh, it's quite a nice walk in either direction I don't know if you've heard of the uh, the name Jem Archer but um, he's a musician who's played for um, BDI, Oasis, Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds and he was born in Homewick itself very much like the old chapel which is now a private residence by the looks of it that's a nice building so yeah i really like humwick it's got a number of facilities it's got a church it's got a school it's um it's got a pub the joiner's arms it's on a bus route to bishop auckland for little willington uh, it's got a little shop 
um, it's a really nice place and so I'm going to give it a resounding 9 out of 10.